Ah, so the markets are looking a bit toppy today, guys, and we're going to break it down in this video. I want to go over how the markets have been doing as of late. We're going to break down some charts, and we're going to go over why I'm being careful here. We're going to break down Omicron, and of course, we're going to go over some stocks. So sit back, relax, hit the like button, subscribe, check out my Patreon if you guys want all my buys, sells, call outs, morning update videos, plus more. That's linked down below, and you could also get five stocks from Webull and 50 50 bucks from M1 Finance, which by the way, both of those run out in two to three days from now, actually two days from now. So get your free money, link down below. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So it's 12.30 p.m. right now, and the markets are starting to sell off a bit. And I want to break down how the markets have been doing the past roughly 9, 10 calendar days. Take a look. SPY has gone up from $450 up to about $478. That is a rally of close to 55 Actually, close to 6%. So just in the past 10 days, SPY has gone up 6%. Triple Q, let's take a look at Triple Q, which tracks the NASDAQ 100. This has gone up in that same time period, the past 10 days, calendar days, this has gone up about, from top to bottom, about 7%. Now it's sitting up about 57 as it, as it's calmed down. Um, it's come down a little bit. The Russell 2000, let's pop the Russell 2000 up. This, even though it's not near those all-time highs as the other three indexes are, um, it's still rallied a lot. It's gone from 2100 up to about 2270, which in percentage terms, that is a 7% run in just 10 days. And the Dow Jones, let's pop up the Dow Jones, guys. This thing is up a whopping 5% from about 34.7 up to about 36.5. It is up, like I said, about 5%. Now that I'm looking at it, the Dow is uh, very close to hitting all-time highs. We're about um, 100 points off all-time highs, which could easily hit at some point this week. So I'm not saying the markets are going to collapse the rally's over, the bull market's over, because we're not seeing signs of that. But all I'm saying is the SPY ETF, which tracks the S&P 500, this is looking the most toppy out of them all. I mean, come on. This thing has rallied for about five, six trading days straight. It's up 6%, 7%. It's very extended. We're above the moving averages. We're extended above the moving averages. And we're towards the top of this channel. So I have two alerts set. One at 475. A mark is at or below. So that means essentially if SPY breaks under 475, it's going to alert me. And at that point, I think we're going to go 465, right? That could be the little mini sell-off that we need. Hence why the title's called Be Careful because this could drop $10 like that, boom, in the snap of a finger. And I also have an alert set at 480 for the smaller chance, in my opinion, um, of SPY breaking out of 480, and we see another leg up, maybe towards 49500 which I do believe at some point in 2022, there is a chance we do go to 500 on SPY, 490 on SPY, but I think we're going to pull back before doing that, which again is why I have the 475 alert. So, Keep your eyes on this, guys. I'm telling you, there's a lot going on right now. Omicron, the cases are running rampant right now. They're crazy. If you guys took uh, take a look at the uh, cases, you know, the chart, right now we're actually a lot higher than we were back in the summer with Delta. And I understand Delta was worse, right, in terms of the severity of the actual virus, right? We know that Omicron is, it spreads faster, but it's way more mild. So that's why the cases are a lot higher. Um, and, and the crazy thing is, like I said, the cases are higher than the summer, and now they're slowly peaking above. They're slowly surpassing the peak from January, February of 2021. I mean, go look at the chart yourselves, guys. I think the uh, seven-day moving average is like 300,000 cases or... Uh, 350 maybe, I forget exactly, but I know for sure they're peaking above uh, the summer cases and, you know, almost a year ago, January, February cases. So keep that in mind. There could be more fear setting in. We're already seeing a lot of these airlines cancel flights. I think just yesterday, Monday, or what's today? It's today, Wednesday. Um, two days ago on Monday, um, we had 2,500 flights canceled. We're seeing um, potential 
restrictions on traveling. I mean, there there's a lot going on right now, and there's a lot of fear. And although I'm personally um, not living under a rock, I'm terrified. I'm, I'm I'm not terrified of this, but the truth is, a lot of people are, and that that's just the reality of the matter. If we do get Travel restrictions, shutdowns, potential lockdowns, which I don't think is going to happen. I'm not fear uh, fearful of that happening. But th the fact that it could be a, a point of conversation, that in itself could lead the markets um, to go down. So keep this in mind. I think the fact that we've rallied a lot, we got to be a bit careful here. So what do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below in the comment section. Make sure to hit the like button if you guys are finding value in this video. And now let's talk about some stocks. So let's take a look at Apple because we know Apple controls the market. Not just Apple, but big tech in general. Apple being the biggest of the bunch, the biggest company in the world, right? So Apple is looking very triple toppy right now. I just made that up. Um, triple toppy. Look at this, guys. Um, we hit 182 back in the middle of um, you know December twice. We hit 182. We double topped and sold off. Now we're hitting again, 181, 182, and we're starting to fall back under 180. So this looks triple toppy to me, right? You know, if we see a clear cut break under 177, if we start breaking under 175 and we start going back towards that 167 level that we were at just nine calendar days ago, this could drag the markets down in a major way. I'm telling you guys, because Apple being the biggest company, it has a huge weighting in the overall markets. It makes sense, right? So if we see a big drop here, expect the markets to, to follow suit. But if we do take out 182, which could happen, I mean, I'm not saying that can't happen. I'm going to put my alert there right now. We might end up seeing a breakout. Who the heck knows, right? So we got to watch Apple as that is a big um, mover of the overall markets. And now that I'm looking at it, this also could be an ascending triangle forming. So we really have to see which way this ends up playing out. We have charge point getting destroyed today. It's down 5%. It's looking to potentially take the lows out from the beginning of October. And if I pull up the yearly chart, we're actually almost at a yearly low on charge point. The stock is down from $46 in the beginning of January 2021, which pretty much was a year ago at this point. So it's down from 46 to 17.50. It is down 62%. I was actually so close to buying some charge point today, but I actually ended up just buying more SoFi. All you guys in my Patreon know that because again, I post all my moves on there. Check it out. Link down below if you're interested. So charge point is probably one that even though I didn't buy today, I will be buying in the beginning of 2022 especially if it takes out those lows from early October. So charge point, Apple, keep your eyes on those. Nike, keep your eyes on Nike, NKE. You guys might hate Nike because of, um, you know, China, what they're doing in China. We're not going to get into that. I mean, of course, that's a sensitive topic. I don't support that. But the stock, we could trade the stock. You know, I'm personally not invested in the stock, but... We could trade the stock. You know, I don't see a problem doing that. Um, you know, if we do break the wedge here on the four hour chart, we break the 180 moving average at about 170. I think this could end up maybe going back 175, 180, maybe all time highs if we do see that breakout. And you guys can see Nike's up 1.5% today in the middle of a red market. So that's a pretty good sign. That's a sign of strength. And I'm also looking at Ford here, ticker symbol F, which we can see clearly on ascending triangle that is, uh, it's been trading within this over the past couple of weeks. And now we're testing the top, $21, $20.50. $20 if we clearly see a break out of 21, I think Ford is going to uh, explode in a major way. So, yeah, guys, I'm not trying to be a fear monger. I don't like doing that. I don't like saying, oh, a crash is right around the corner. Sure, I might make a video once in a while saying the next crash or whatever, like all the YouTubers do. But I don't like doing that all the time. Like some YouTubers spam that every single day. Crash, crash, crash. When the markets go down 0.2%, some YouTubers are like, the market's crashing. Oh, my God. But... In reality, I'm not trying to do that, and uh, I'm just keeping it real. The markets have ran up a lot in the past 10 days. We have some uh, elevated fears right now around Omicron, so uh, things might get 
things might get a little hectic in the short term. So what do you guys think? Drop me a comment. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And feel free to check out my Patreon if you want all my buys, sells, call-outs, morning update videos, plus more. More access to me throughout the day as well. All of that's on Patreon. Link down below. Or you can simply go to StossRFest.com slash Patreon. That's StossRFest.com slash Patreon. Make sure to also get your five stocks from Webull. All you have to do is use my link, deposit any amount of money. We each get five stocks. That runs down in two days, and you could get 50 bucks from M1 Finance. Use my link, deposit 100 bucks. We each get 50 bucks. That also runs out in two days. All of that, the Patreon, the free money are linked down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, keep crushing the market. Stay safe out there. Peace out.